Hi guys, today's video is all about how concentration affects rate of reaction. So let's get started. Let's have a quick recap of what collision theory means and how it relates to rate of reaction. So what we're going to need for this video is that understanding that if reaction rate is increasing, it can only really be due to two things happening within the particles. Either, one, the particles are hitting each other more often, which means that they're colliding more frequently. Or two, you've got more particles that have greater than or equal to the activation energy. Our question today is how does concentration affect rate of reaction? Hopefully we know that as concentration increases, our rate of reaction generally also increases. The question today is really why does this happen and what's going on with the particles? So we're gonna start by building a model of what this looks like. So at low concentration, you can see I'm only doing a few particles inside the box, whereas at high concentration, we're doing a lot more particles within the box. So we say that there are a greater number of particles in the same volume when things are at high concentration. There's more particles in the same space. Let's try and explain this in terms of collision theory. Remember that we really only had those two options that we outlined at the start. And in this case, all that we've done is increase the frequency of the collisions. Because we've crammed all those particles into a smaller space, it means the chances of them hitting another one has increased significantly. However, we didn't increase the energy of the particles. So this means that for every collision, it's just as likely to be successful as it was before. It's just that I've increased the overall number of collisions in the same time. So the explanation that we're gonna use for this is that the rate of reaction increases because you've got increased frequency of collisions. 